It was a day which changed history. September 11, 2001. Today, the heroes who died 18 years ago trying to rescue victims are being honored in the best way many firemen know how, by climbing the steps. Rachel Carter was there as they made the climb up at MT Bank Stadium. More than 300 people all coming together today with one mission in mind, to climb 181 flights of stairs to remember the first responders who died in 9-11. Step by step, each stair a reminder. 343 of my brothers went in, they climbed, and they didn't get to come back down. John McNamara from Engine 234, he died uh, several years ago of nine related uh, uh, related illnesses. In his 70 pounds of gear, Jamie yep. Burney wears each of the 343 names on his back, etched into an oxygen tank. Even if we don't have enough people here to climb for the badges, every name will get climbed for today. Volunteer firefighter John Kraft took to the stairs with his sister Danielle, saying Americans need to remember what the actions of these heroes was for. On my helmet, I, I wear 343 for all the firemen who died. But 20,000 people were saved that day. Around and around the MT Bank Stadium, <laughs> some in full turnout gear. I am very fortunate in that I get to climb these stairs and come back down and go home to my family. It's not something that everyone gets to do. Some in workout gear. So good, Robin Stanton. <laughs> sweating together for a reason. So we were all alive when September 11th happened. So this is a good way for us to honor all the firefighters and everyone who lost their lives that day for us. First responders, <laughs> then and now honored as hundreds of feet ascend the concrete. A special shout out to Sergeant Isaac Carrington, the off-duty police officer shot outside his home last month. My next door neighbor, uh, Officer Isaac Carrington, this one's for you, buddy. Firefighters say for many, the fight continues as some of the surviving first responders at Ground Zero now battle cancer and other illnesses. It was a long time ago, I understand that. It's actually in the history books now for young kids, but uh, there's, there's still a lot of our brothers that are still suffering and dying every day. Until the fight is over, the climb continues. And many of the people we spoke to today don't just do this event, but they try to do multiple memorial events throughout the year. In Baltimore, I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.